interestingly, it appears to not actually have broken XSplit, so that's fantastic. I assume it hasn't. I don't have a loop back so I can hear myself through XSplit. I don't know how to do that, actually. Without listening to the stream, which would be silly. Anyway, uh, let's do this again. I probably should start recording after I do this mission, since I've already done it, but whatever. It's too late now. It has already begun. I also forgot to name this boat. Full speed ahead. I forgot about Cancel that. Engagement mode. All hands alert. I removed a bunch of the boats uh, that I had previously made, so I Cancel need to rename all the boats mode. for the people on YouTube side of this. So that's the thing. Also, these cannons drastically more accurate. Light we should have a much easier time actually doing missions Enemy now. Which... You know, considering we had so much difficulty before, is a generally good thing. Enemy ship sunk. It's still going to take a billion shots to kill anything because I'm using giant cannons that can't hit the broadside of a boat. Enemy ship sunk. Look at me making broadside boat jokes. Enemy ship sunk. Light damage. Enemy ship sunk. And I'm doing this again where I go out into the middle of two fleets like an idiot. I need to stop doing that. But once I'm here, I can't really go back, so... Basically just have to tank damage until they're all dead, hopefully. Where are you going, dude? Your fleet's dead. Don't tell me about your flight. Anyway, there's a fleet that just spawned on top of me. Maybe that's what killed me last time I did this mission and failed horribly. I didn't realize a fleet spawned right there. That's very, very rude. Game. I don't know if you realize how much of a dick move that Light is. Damage. Spawning a fleet Enemy on top of you. Enemy ship sunk. Whatever. Enemy ship sunk. Enemy, Enemy ship sunk. Spotted. Another Enemy fleet spawns sunk. over there, my word. Enemy ship sunk. Enemy battleship Target sunk. the thing. Target it. There we go. Enemy We're at half health. Sunk. We should be alright. Also missiles. I'm using rams now, which are the missiles that are shooting off, because they're probably the best anti-air. In my opinion, once you actually get them and you can put a bunch of them on, they're probably the best anti-air. Primarily because they have a slower refire rate than other anti-air missiles, so they and they behave more like machine guns, so they target individual aircraft. So many fleets. Which means they will shoot individual planes more often than anti-air missiles rather than Enemy using 74 sunk. missiles to kill a single plane. Enemy ship sunk. Enemy ship As you sunk. can imagine, this might be more sunk. efficient. I'm actually doing this mission quite easily. I approve of this. I approve of our increase in capability. We should be able to actually go through missions with this boat for quite a while without too much difficulty now, so at least we won't see the mission failed screen too often for a while. And now that I've said that, we're gonna fail every mission. Oh yeah, and I was playing the, uh, I mentioned this to the people watching the stream earlier. Uh, I was playing the original Warship Gunner, and that game did not age anywhere near as well as this one, despite being on the same console. It looks terrible, it plays pretty badly, the UI is pretty much god-awful. There is no real mini-map for most intents and purposes. They got the thing in the center in the original game, but the actual map doesn't have any like information. You open it up and it's got objective markers, but that's it. There's really nothing else there, which is kind of weird. But hey. And I really don't have to bother picking up these funds, but I'm going to anyway, because they're there. I say that, but it costs like all of my money to get the Stop next level of battleship. Give me money. Now I gotta go all the way over here. There's a couple of very specific Enigma tech that I would like to have, which are very good systems, if you haven't figured that out yet. But I have to be further into the second playthrough to actually get them. One of them adds 3,000 endurance to your boat, which would more than double this boat's health. 
uh, makes you faster, makes you turn better, and I think that's all it does. I say that's all it does, but that's like seven systems built into one, so that's one I would really like to have, because it makes you nearly impossible to kill. And then there's a few others, like make all of your weapon slots auto-fire, which means the AI will just shoot your guns at everything constantly. Uh, Auto-reload Y is an editing attack, but it may as well be. Look at all these parts. So many parts. That's probably a transport. It is. We've already killed that one though, haven't we? I missed anyway. It's a penguin, so it's a part, but whatever. I'm fairly sure we already got that one. So in the meantime, I'll just slowly die and go north, because why not? You know what, actually? Just blow up the airbase and then leave. We've already gotten our S rank on this, let's speed this process up a little bit. Assuming I can hit this bloody thing. It's a building right there. I can see it. Just shoot it. There we go. Enter engagement mode. Now we just have to wait, I think. And kill stuff. So we have to wait 300 seconds, which is way longer than I would like to wait for whatever. Enemy ship sunk. I could probably ignore these guys, but I'm not going to. Enemy ship sunk. Enemy That's ship like ignoring sunk. free points, because you get points sunk. for blowing these dudes up. Enemy ship sunk. Oh, and you know what else I forgot to change again? Oh, bollocks. I forgot to change the difficulty back again. I believe it's on normal, and not hard. But it should be on hard. I have to show how manly I am by playing video games on hardest difficulty. It's actually not even near the hardest difficulty. For the love of God, can I shoot these boats? For the love of God, can I target these boats? Secondary objective complete. All right, whatever. We're going. I'm taking way more damage than I should just sitting here, but whatever. We're done with you, PC boats. We are done with you. I would like it if I wouldn't catch fire so often, but I would like it if my machine guns would blow up stupid stuff. There we go. I have to spend one of my repair kits, which means I won't have an extra repair kit next time. Oh hi! How's it going? Repairs complete. That was a good. That was a good place to spawn. Free parts. There's a boat next to me. Hello. That's a wall. I don't think you understand how that works. AI. Fairly certain. That isn't the world's best AI. Yeah, that's a corner. Yeah, you appear to have found a corner. Well done. Oh, here comes another one. Don't worry. He'll have a friend soon. These things have a weird AI. They, their AI tells them to get into range of you, and then their AI tells them to run away. So they try to maintain a minimum distance away from you, which means they'll just end up doing things like this. I don't even know why these boats exist in the normal difficulty. The EL2 version of those, as mentioned, has lasers. They also have radar uh, doodads. Which means you can't see them on the mini-map, which is kind of irritating. Full speed ahead. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Stop engine. Reverse engine. Two minutes. I presume they meant for this to be difficult, but, you know, like a fight for your life for two minutes, but nothing really spawns. 
I mean, if they spawned fleets in the south that slowly move north, you know, I suppose it'd be slightly more interesting. But no, you just kind of sit here. It's an exciting mission, trust me. Woo! Anyway, how, how is everyone doing today? I asked this last time we actually sat here for a while. Is everyone having a good day? There's some funding in there. Inside that mountain? No, it's on the other side. What am I locked onto? A battery? I missed. That's disappointing. I probably shouldn't shoot random bullets, because it saves your ammo for the next mission. That seems like a thing I should try to avoid. Trying to plan some activities for next week. Mmm. I don't really do planning. I don't like planning, it's stressful. It says the guy basically planning the tur- the uh, I almost said Terraria. Torchlight thing. Stressful, man. Although that one's not all that hard to deal with, because there's only two time zones, and nobody works on weekends. Hello, Kiwa! I am alright. You missed basically me sitting here stationary for a while. Whoop. That was a slight preempt there. Now my boat's just sideways on the camera. There we go. It's possible to actually trigger that without moving, by the way. If you get your ship kind of wedged in there just at the right angle, it's possible to trigger it without actually going anywhere. Yeah, 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 we've seen this already. Sounds like a common occurrence. Yay! S rank. Excitement. The things I've already researched before. The majority of stuff we're gonna get isn't probably going to be new. And we get our next rank and thus our next research at 8 million points, I think it was? Or was it 9 million? I think it was 8 million. Someone gave me a link yesterday, but I don't have it on hand, so... And if I recall, this mission spawns you right next to a bunch of laser battleships. And we're going to skip all these again. And mash the up button on the d-pad while it loads. Full there it goes. Speed ahead. All hands alert. Directly in front of me, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Angry submarine. Cancel engagement mode. Hello. Light damage. Now the objective Light for this... Enemy battleship sunk is to actually protect your allied fleets, so these fleets are more or less useless. They're just to distract you and do a lot of damage, which you're pretty good at. Hello. They're pretty darn good at it, just, uh, just to point that out. They've taken me to half health already. Which is moderately irritating. I may actually have to just drop the difficulty to normal and then we could do a third playthrough on something like very hard. Now this mission with EL2 just spawns a bunch of fleets. It's really the only difference is there's a metric crap ton of fleets that you have to deal with as, as well as the super weapon. Can I hit him? The first time you played it, it was just the super weapon, which is actually right below me. It's behind me slightly. There it is. But now you have to deal with stuff like those dudes. Blowing up your dudes here. Which is really rude. I wish they wouldn't do that. I wish they wouldn't blow me up either. It's also very rude. Ow. This mission's unnecessarily hard, I feel. Just slightly unnecessarily hard. Free range herd of reindeer. Enemy battleship I like reindeer. This dude surfaced, so now he's just gonna be shooting me in the back this whole time, Enemy I'm sure. Oh no, he's right there. Hello. I could probably just straight up kill him. Yeah. 
because he's super weak. So he's dead. Which I don't think triggers the end of the mission. It does. Oh, it does trigger the end of the mission. We're not done yet, though, so we're going back. Secondary objective complete. Super weapons, man. They're not very strong. That's an HP up that I want. They do drop new loot, though, because it is EL2. Missiles are very loud. Stop it. Stop with your missiling. D-boy. I'm just going to let them soak shots now. They can do whatever they want. Super weapon sounds like a thing that does a whole lot of damage quickly. They do, but Stop most of the super weapons on the second ahead. playthrough are kind of weak because they're not scaled. Like that one. That's the same super weapon that spawns in EL1, so nothing is different about it. You really shouldn't drive a battleship if you're just going to ram into the enemy, but whatever. Enemy battleship sunk. These guys are just ramming into each other. Well done! Oops. There we go. Grab these parts. And I may as well sink that fleet that's actually following behind us. So. Did they blow up a boat? I think they may have. The formation looks a little weird. Should drive a ramming ship. The drill battleship, by the way, that I've mentioned. The one that you do damage by running into people because it has a drill on it is actually the last thing most people get because it requires you kill 999 battle carriers. And the most battle carriers you can get in a single mission is four. There is no way to get any more than four battle carrier kills per mission, so... Prepare to repeat things a whole lot of times. Mission complete. Now, there is no other way area. to get it. There's also one for uh, killing super weapons 999 times, but that one's fairly easy. You can just abuse a mission in the game that spawns infinite super weapons, which is always a great thing. And then there's one for everything, and then the other one is transports, which is kind of hard to get. Because usually there's not many transports per mission. It is easier than battle carriers, though, because they're in every mission, so you get some as you go. We've only killed eight battle carriers. Just for those of you unaware, we've only killed eight so far out of 999. I got things. A bunch of lasers. And digital enhancement. And a next rank, so we can probably research some stuff. Hooray! And we're going to skip the wall of text. And we're going to save the wall of text. I should probably pay attention to the mission numbers in case uh, there's a number at the end of them, which means it'll be a new mission. Otherwise, I'm going to skip all of this. Because we've already seen it before. Or, well, if you've watched the first playthrough, you've seen it before. Let's check out our R&D to see if there's anything new over here. That's already done, so there's nothing there. I don't know why I keep going to artillery. There's really nothing else in artillery to research, so... Anything new here? Doesn't seem to be... There's a missile. Oh. Cluster missiles, yay! Flamethrowers, yay! Does four damage. It sounds fantastic. It lights stuff on fire, but it only does four damage, so it's basically worthless. Maybe something holes? I don't think there's any holes we'll have unlocked. No, because we can't do that until we get stage 43, and I don't want any of this, and the carrier is a part we don't have. There's actually, I forgot about it, but there is a better carrier than this one. I don't remember how many aircraft it has, but it's, it's called the super carrier. It's just a really big carrier. Maybe it does have 25 aircraft as well, I don't remember, just a higher weight limit. Is there nothing new that I feel like getting? Maybe a new power? No? 
Good God, game, did you give me nothing for that? You gave me this. Which, sure. Now wait, we got a aircraft somewhere at some point, apparently. Sometimes. I wish there was an easier way to find something. Oh, there it is, the halberd. Good. I'm actually gonna speed that up because see if it unlocks anything. It doesn't, but whatever. So we got a thing, and I instantaneously researched it. It's also a UFO, but you know. Mm. Well, that's the start of something useful. It wasn't really anything more than that, though, sadly. Shall we name the boat? I think we shall. If someone doesn't have a name for it, I'll just rename it Soul Ripper. If someone does have a name for it, I'll use that. Just to, so people are aware, since I deleted all of the previous boats that were already named. Except Barracuda. Because I know for a fact it has nothing on it of use for any other boat. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Change name. Not change hole. Hello, Moomin. How art thou? Oh, for God's sake. Oh, for God's sake. How do I buttons? Cursor. Delete. Cursor. Put an, put an R. Sometimes this thing. I think I saw a new hall you unlocked, by the way. Hall C? I'm not sure that was your best joke, but we'll roll with it. Because why the heck not? To battle with the Soul Ripper. Which someone did mention uses, you know, like a bunch of plasma E cannons and missiles, but we've got the missile part down. We don't really have the plasma E cannon things. And we probably never will. Oh, don't tell me those are. Oh, no. Are they? Full speed ahead. All hands alert. Secondary objective Where's it at? Added. Oh, God, it's those. Oh. It's not the worst version, but. I hate these so much. Go away. Scumbags. Light damage. These things are terrible. I'm never gonna hit it, and it's just gonna fire lasers at me for the rest of freaking time. This is where their AI comes into play, where they have to stay so far away from you. It makes it really hard to hit them. And they don't have wimpy lasers just because they're a small boat. No, they, they will ruin your day. There's a, another... I think it's the version right after these which has a slightly more powerful laser. I think it has a missile launcher, maybe a torpedo launcher, uh, and radar dampener, so you can't see it most of the time. And they just kind of they just kind of come out of nowhere and then swarm oh, you and then do this and fire rockets at you. Parts. Lots of parts. I would go back and get those, but whatever. Freaking PT boats, man. They're dangerous. Light damage. Especially when they do this duck and weave nonsense. There we go. If that hits... I almost hit him. I wasn't even aiming near him. Laser boat is in fact the no new torpedo boat. Now the tricky part, after that... Not those. Oh, no. Looks like it's actually going to be fairly easy once we get in there, because those are older boats. 1936 Bs and 71 foot pontoons. Whatever those things are. See you, Cuba. So we're basically just gonna waddle them into the midst of them and then start murdering them because. Why not? 
I could kill him with that, but whatever. Just do it the old-fashioned way. With cannons, at point blank. Because cannons. Enemy ship sunk. Enemy ship sunk. Everything Enemy ship seems sunk. to be dropping parts. What in the heck is going on here? That's, that's the only thing that I've actually seen dropped, is parts. Maybe they're hinting at me. Excuse me. Look! Parts! I haven't even shot over there yet and there's parts. What is this nonsense? I should probably try to get an S rank on all these missions as we go through them, but I'm not going to on like 90% of them. Enemy ship sunk. This one's probably one that I'll actually get an Enemy S rank on, because it's not that hard. So there's something to spawn. Possibly a fleet, or possibly... it looks like a fleet spawn. Stop engine. Reverse engine. Although I can't see it. Stop engine. Full speed ahead. No, oh, it spawned more freaking laser torpedo boats. Laser boats? They're not really laser torpedo boats, they're just laser boats. Is that parts? Too many parts, too little time. Oh, this is a formation of the freaking things, that's exactly what I want. And these have radar. Herp derps. Although they're very weak, what are they doing? They're just being anti-radar, alright. And dropping parts. I think I may have broken the game and made everything drop parts. What are you guys shooting at? Oh. Are you guys gonna drop parts? I mean, if everything's gonna give me parts, sure. I'll try and kill everything. Especially these, since they're super weak, but yeah. Parts. More boats. Parts and funds. Alright, whatever. How goes the shipping? It goes well. It's the new style of shipping wars. What are you, Wildcats? Now with more missiles! Now with more missiles that are actually viable for missions that last more than two seconds because they have the ammo for it. Which is good! I hate missiles that don't have any ammunition. You ship your missiles? Do you ship them with UPS? Secondary objective added. Because if you, if you don't ship them with UPS, you're Cancel doing it wrong. There's also some boats right next to me. You just can't see them. I know they're there because A, they're shooting missiles at me, and B, they're flickering on the minimap. But I don't care, because we're going this way. You ship it like FedEx. Oh. Why do these missiles have ammo? Because they're basically a replacement for machine guns for anti-air. They fire slower, they don't do a whole lot of damage, but they have a lot of ammo. And the fact they fire slower is really good. And they also have, as far as I can tell, they have different... Uh, I should, that's, I'm gonna use the term AI, but that's not really it. They have different AI than other missile launchers in that they won't all shoot the same thing. So I'm exploding. I should probably sort that out. And because they won't all fire at the same thing, the only thing left over there is probably an airbase, I'm sure. Because they won't all shoot at the same thing, they're much better at destroying things that I want them to destroy, which is good. Basically, I'm using them as anti-air, and then the missile launchers are just anti-missile. My missiles will shoot other missiles, but, you know, missileception, they're just not very good at it. Do you have any more information on those PT-2 boats? Yeah, it's a patrol boat. Little tiny... Patrol boat. Enemy ship Lock on sunk. to the thing. There is Secondary definitely targets in range game. Give me that crap. Parts. So many parts this mission. 